Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jeffrey Way with NetTouch Plus. The subject of today's video quick tip is going to be on CSS media queries, which was actually spawned by a forum thread on CodeCanyon.net about how to compensate for different browser sizes or resolutions. So we're going to take a look at that. You could use JavaScript. You could send JavaScript to PHP. That'll create a session. But another new alternative is to use media queries. So I'm going to go into my editor of choice, MacVim. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Vim or the command line. It's not necessary here. But what I do need is to set up a folder structure. So we can do that very quickly. Make directory media. And let's create an index.html file and something like a large.css file. And you can see within like three seconds, we've already set up. OK, so let's get started. Uh, let's see where we are. Let's go into media, open up our index.html file, and let's paste in just uh, some beginning markup. We'll add a div with an ID of container. OK, so next I want to, I don't know, let's add a style tag. This is mostly a proof of concept. So we'll say container. And by default, I want a background of green a width of 500 pixels, and a height of 200 pixels. And I'm going to go into Firefox. And you'll see we do have green as we'd expect. OK, cool. So now let's go and compensate for specific uh, browser sizes. So now I'm going to say Add Media. And we can set uh, the format. So is it All Media, Screen, Print, things like that. We'll stick with Screen for now. And I want the minimum width in order for the code within these uh, these brackets to take effect, the minimum width needs to be at least 1,200 pixels. And in that condition, we'll say container. And all we're going to do here is change the background to blue. Refresh, and now it's blue. Now, I'm recording on a resolution of about 1280. So if I reduce this, you're going to see it change. Aha. It changed because as soon as the browser became less than 1,200 pixels, this no longer is true, in which case it falls back to what we have here. So you can see it's automatically updating itself as we change the resolution. So this is awesome if maybe for really large resolutions like 1,600 pixels and above, you can create different layouts for those. So let's take a look. You can, you can even take this further if you want, and if you can say and max width. Uh, let's do something where it's a minimum of 1,200, but it can't be any higher than uh, 1,600. You can do lots of cool stuff here. So let's take a look at another option here. And uh, let's go to 6. And we can also import style sheets based upon the browser size. So rel equals style sheet. And we're going to say media, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So it's going to be screen. And the condition is that the minimum width needs to be 1,200 pixels. Something like that. And then the ref is going to be that large.css file that we created. right? OK, so let's go ahead and edit this file now. And again, we'll just say body, uh, background of yellow, just a proof of concept. OK, so let's go into Firefox, refresh the page. And now you can see the background has been changed to yellow because that style sheet was only imported in the condition that the minimum width of the browser window was 1,200 pixels. So if I go back and if I reduce this, that updates dynamically as well. So you can even use this for uh, things like targeting uh, mobile phones. Like if you want to target the uh, iPhone, you could do uh, min device width equals whatever the width of the iPhone. I'm not even sure. 320 or 480, something like that. <coughs> so you have a lot of power here. As far as uh, browsers, it's going to work in all of your modern browsers, excluding Internet Explorer 8 and below. So what you might want to do is, in the case that it's IE, uh, by the way, IE 9 will work, but in the case that it's IE 8 or below, you can still use JavaScript. Uh, you can use jQuery. It's super simple to handle with that method. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, just leave a comment, and one of us will post a solution, but in all modern browsers and all browsers here to come, you're going to be able to use these. So it's a very good tip to have, and uh, I hope you use it. Bye.